Hey everybody, it's Randy here with another Play Hive Like a Champion video. Recently I received a geek mail message at Board Game Geek from Christian Sperling, also known as Eucalyx. The topic line said, interesting game for review. When Christian, who is my first Hive mentor and teacher, says that a game is worth reviewing, then it definitely is. So, here it is. Taking another note from the book, Canon of Hive Groundwork, by Joe Schultz, We'll be discussing what Joe refers to as the proximity mosquito pill bug, one of the complication techniques highlighted in his new book. The game is between Dmitry Maximenkov, Max Shark playing white, and Christian playing black. Note how Christian uses not only his own mosquito and pill bug, but his mosquito in conjunction with his opponent's pill bug to bring about the victory. Enjoy! A bit of a surprise right off the bat. Instead of using the more common ladybug opening, or what he refers to as his opening, the mosquito, Christian starts with a grasshopper. The advantage with the ladybug as a defender is, of course, that if and when it gets freed, a ladybug typically has more options than the grasshopper. The player who places the queen last, in this case black, chooses the shape of the opening. Here Christian chooses to play a Z opening. A bit of a surprise, Max is allowed to warp the black queen away from the friendly pill bug mosquito combination. Foreseeing a possible beetle attack, Christian sacrifices an ant to get the mosquito free. And as expected, the beetle attacks and is pinned by the black mosquito. The second white beetle is also pinned. Pay attention to the fact that black pinned both of these beetles as inline or true pins. After white brings in the final ant, Let's pause and take stock. In a typical pill bug game, it is important to force a beetle or mosquito atop the hive to counter a defensive pill bug. So in this respect, white has a problem. All three of these bugs are adequately pinned. The saving grace for white, however, is that the black pill bug is not ideally placed for defense. In addition, white has a distinct advantage in the ant game. Let's compare. One white ant and the white mosquito are pinned, but at least they are in attacking positions. The other two white ants are in the game and mobile, ready for immediate use. Now black. The black mosquito is pinning an opposing beetle and has limited movement options. One black ant is also pinning a beetle, so at least for the moment it is tied down. The only other black ant in play is pinned. It could possibly be freed with a fill here, but the white mosquito could warp it away and soon it too would be pinned. Back to the game. To a player not experienced with the pill bug, this move may seem a little strange. It negates the previous comment regarding the possible fill releasing the black ant. But let's compare the previous position with the current position. In this current position, the pill bug is adjacent to two kill shot spaces, here and here. This gives the pill bug many more defensive options. In the previous position, the pill bug is adjacent only one kill shot space, here. This is an important consideration when implementing the proximity pill bug technique. Black begins a beetle attack. With no beetles to defend, 
The white attack must succeed, but will it succeed in time? It might be a race to the finish. However, with pill bugs and mosquitoes lurking, one never knows. Black warps in the white ant, warps out the white mosquito, and watches as it is replaced with the white ladybug. This is a good trade for black because the white mosquito, with pill bug powers, was a powerful attacking piece. White places and attacks with the pill bug, while black performs a pin replacement, freeing a black ant for other duties. White attacks with the mosquito, forcing the black pill bug to warp out the ladybug. And when the mosquito continues to march in to attack, the black pill bug is forced to pull away. Fortunately for black, white does not have a single mobile bug with a clear angle of attack. And with two free ants, the position might be defensible. Black converts the mosquito, giving it ant mobility, and setting up for the proximity mosquito pill bug. Black pins the newly placed white grasshopper. And then white makes an interesting decision, warping the black queen out and threatening to win. Black elects to pin the grasshopper, freeing the queen, and instead of attacking in place, white warps the black queen back to her original spot. A possible draw by repetition, but it does not happen. White missed a win here. Can you find it? We will discuss it at the end of the video. An interesting series of moves here. Using the pill bug, white warps out with an ant and in with a spider, setting up the possibility of freeing an ant. The black mosquito frees the ant, but now it has pill bug powers and soon it warps out the white pill bug. There's no way to stop the white grasshopper from freeing the white beetle, so black proceeds with the attack by covering the white queen. Now a series of direct drops is all there is between black and victory. By warping the white pill bug back to its previous position, Black is setting up to warp the white grasshopper. Note where the white grasshopper is placed. It forms a ground level gate, stopping the white beetle from a direct attack of the black queen. The black pill bug approaches from the left. Oh, if only the ladybug were one step closer. And here is the proximity pill bug technique in action. From the left, the black pill bug, although not adjacent to the black queen, controls two kill shot spaces. From the right, the black mosquito, gaining pill bug power from the white pill bug, controls two more kill shot spaces. A total of four kill shot spaces are controlled by black. The power of the proximity pill bug on full display. The white mosquito is warped out and the ladybug attacks. Notice here that Black takes advantage of another ground level gate, this time blocking the white ant. These positions also highlight the power of an attacking pill bug. Taking that into consideration, Black warps the white pill bug away. Black uses the beetle cover to lead to the final victory. See also that the black pill bug always has the option to warp out one of these two attackers as well. What an exciting game. Thanks Christian for bringing it to my attention. Another interesting statistic from this game, there were 80 moves total, 13 of them were pill bug warps, 8 were pill bug moves, and 4 were mosquitoes moving into place adjacent to a pill bug. A total of 25 of the 80 moves were directly related to the pill bug. That's almost one third of the total moves. What a game. Now let's look at what could have happened. Instead of warping the queen back in, what would happen if white attacks with the mosquito, threatening to win with the ant going here? Black is forced to pin, 
and the white mosquito covers the black queen. Of course, this black ant cannot move, otherwise a direct drop wins easily. The white threat is a grasshopper here. Can black defend? A spider here can pin the grasshopper, but a queen move forms a ring and frees the grasshopper for victory. Sometimes order of movement is vital. Let's see what happens if white plays the grasshopper before covering the queen. White has two threats, the direct drop or the grasshopper attack. Black can choose the poison, but the end is assured. In this case, the result is the same, but quicker. In some cases, the result may not be the same. Can black defend with a block? The answer is no. The mosquito converts to a grasshopper and threatens to win. The black ant pins it. The grasshopper comes in and wins. In the heat of the battle, particularly in these complex situations with pill bug and mosquito, it is very easy to overlook something. This skill is what sets apart the really great players from the really good ones. The great players rarely miss these opportunities. Thanks for watching.